Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to explain expanded form with a small activity. This activity is for grade 2 students, grade 3 students, grade 4, grade 5 and we can use till grade 6 with little bit different higher difficulty level. So here I have used here one index. Index you can see here. Uh, this is white color, this is for 1 lakh, pink color 10,000, uh, light yellow color 1000, red 100, green means 10 and pink means 1. And I have used here square paper, square uh, or rectangular sheets of different colors. You can make rectangles, you can make square, triangle and circle. But making square or rectangle is very easy, it's easy to cut. And then I have used these number cards also to just write down the numeral and then we will continue the activity. So here, uh, actually this activity can be used in a maths lab also. A teacher can say the number, suppose teacher is saying 4215. So student will write down this on the place value chart. 4215. 215. So at the same time child is learning how to write down the numeral, how to read the numeral and at the same time uh, we will go for the expanded active expanded form. So 4000, 1000 means which color here? 1000 means yellow color. So yellow color 4 sheets 1, 2, 3 and 4. These four sheets can be sticked in one place with the one corner. If you are doing this activity in maths notebook, if you are doing in lab, no need to stick. The next one is 200. 100 means which color here? Red color. So how many sheets? Two sheets. So child will collect two sheets. Just keep it beside that. The next one is 1000, 1000 means um, 1, 10 sorry, so 10 means green color, so this green color sheet will be there, one sheet and the next will be 5 ones, so ones means this pink color, so pink color 5 sheets, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, so this 5 sheets will be kept in one place. You can stick in the corner if you are doing in maths notebook or if you are doing in lab. So just keep it here so that the child's expanded form concept will be clear. So 4,200, 1 tens and 5. So it means 4 into 1,000, 2 into 100, 1 into 10, 5 into 1. So this way you can change the numbers and accordingly child will collect the sheets and complete the activity. Let us take one more example. Suppose you want to change the numbers. So again keep all the numbers in one place. And now give another number. Suppose this time uh, you want to say 5023. So 23. What will come in 100 place? 100 place 0 will come. Okay. So now once again we will do the same activity. So now here 1000. 1000 means which color here? Yellow color. Yellow color how many sheets are required? 5, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this 5 sheets even you can keep like this also. Then 0, 100. So 100 place no number will come. Then tens means 2. Tens means green color. So green color 2 sheets leave some place. And then put here 2 sheets. And then 3 ones. So pink color will be with the 3. So you can write down here this 3. So this way you can conduct the activity for expanded form. You can take here till 1000, you can take here till lakh, you can take here 10 lakh. This is your choice based upon the class which number you want to give for the expanded form. Now the same activity we can do with the help of playing cards also. So here I have taken this number cards. 
in number cards zero is not there so zero this um, uh, joker represents zero so you can reshuffle this cards suppose you want to create here four digit number so just keep one one card so now what is the number 1532 so child will take this colorful sheet and child will arrange over here so this you can do as a group activity also you can divide the class in the group of 5 5 students as soon as child will put the first card so we know that first one is the ones place so another group member will collect five ones place that is pink color sheets and child will arrange here second one is three so another group members will collect three green color sheets and they will put to your over here the next one is four so other group member will collect this the last one zero zero is not possible so just take one more card too so this way other group members will arrange this card and you can find out which group has completed first and you can give them marks one more way we can do that if two groups are there so you can ask your group members to just put the cards over here again suppose three digit number 1 2 and 3 this one group has put another group also will just put down the numbers and both the groups will arrange this with the help of these sheets arrange in expanded form at the same time you can ask them which number is greater so this is 9 and this is 5 so 9 is greater so whomsoever uh, group is there with this red color one so that group will get the marks for giving the correct answer so this way with the different a uh, little bit harbit little higher difficulty level we can uh, conduct this activity in the classroom or we can conduct this activity in maths lab thank you for watching today's video